Hello friends. Welcome back to another episode of How to Hack Ethical web series. In this episode, we are going to show you password spraying attack. Let's dive in deep now. What is password spraying? Password spraying is a type of brute force cyber attack. A cyber criminal tries to guess a known user's password using a list of common and easy to guess passwords such as 123456 inches of password. This process is often automated and occurs slowly over time in order to remain undetected. Let's put it this way, intruding into the system by using the most common and highly guessable single password across multiple user accounts to gain access and control. The hacker will primarily target single sign-on applications like cloud, email-based applications and those without multi-factor authentication. Apart from these compromised websites, leaked credential data on the dark web is the typical source for intruders to target and implement their attacks. How password spraying works? Cyber criminals are able to use password spraying to gain unauthorized access to your systems because people often secure their accounts with obvious passwords, ones that are easy to guess. Here's how obvious passwords make this possible. Cyber criminals create or purchase a username list. On the dark web, there are currently almost 15 billion credentials for sale. Cyber criminals will frequently launch a password spraying attack by purchasing a list of usernames that have been stolen from other businesses. But quite frequently, cyber criminals also create their own list utilizing the conventions that business email addresses adhere to. For instance, lastname.firstname at company.com and a list of persons who work at that business from LinkedIn, for example. Let's see a live demo now. Here. I'm going to perform a password spraying attack using a spray tool for Active Directory credentials. This is a free tool available in GitHub, created by Jacob Wilkin. Note, I'm using this my own environment to test this password spraying attack. This video is only for education purpose. Please do not try this against anyone or anywhere without their permission. I'm using my own local Active Directory for testing. So let's see how this attack works. You open the terminal and uh, you install this from GitHub. The syntax of using this tool is quite easy. Uh, just list that and you'll see it has a couple of uh, files here. The, the, the most important file is spray.sh. I've created a couple of passwords here. This file has some commonly used passwords I've generated, like some commonly used users are test user, test domain, domain admin, domain user. So this is just for the demo purposes, but actually it's easy. If you go back to my previous videos, it's easy now to acquire the username schema, the email schema used by companies using various tools. Now let's execute this command. Just write sudo and spray.sh. Now you specify the protocol. This application uses the SMB protocol. Other applications use LDAP and Kerberos. It's, wor it's worth noting that Kerberos is the fastest protocol to use password spraying in order to crack into accounts. So here we specify the IP of our domain uh, controller. Uh, my domain controller IP is 192.168.61.159 now we specify the users and we specify the password file now we specify the threshold for or the attempts we want to use for spraying passwords over one account so let's say you want to use five attempts and we want to wait for one minute after that attempt to avoid being locked out or being uh, recognized on the network especially if this company has sim solutions in place and you need to specify the domain name at the end so just press enter and as you can see it has found the password for the user test user the password is google at 2020 
You can easily run the script overnight over a huge list of accounts, especially if you're using online services like OWA, Office 365. You just need to crack one user account before you get in, download the global address list, use lateral movements. How to mitigate this type of threat? Instead of using passwords like password 123, 12345678 or place names that are simple to guess, use strong passwords. Along with a username and password, enable two-factor or multi-factor authentication. Keep a record of the Active Directory login details for each user. Block the IP address if the possible risk was discovered on a specific domain and endpoints with an excessive number of failed attempts. Enabling password-less authentication methods like biometrics, magic links, and SMS email verification is an excellent idea. Use lengthy, complex passwords or phrases that contain alphanumeric characters, a mix of upper and lower case letters, numerals, and unique symbols. Don't use the same password on several websites, and change them frequently. Conclusion Users' unsafe password habits open the door for attackers to launch credential-based attacks. Unfortunately, cyber attackers can quickly and successfully crack system credentials via a password spray attack. Regular employee cyber awareness training sessions, the strengthening of endpoint detection methods, and penetration testing on a regular basis are all required to stop this kind of cyber attack. Hope this video helps. We are publishing these types of how to hack episodes every week. Please subscribe and stay with us. Thank you.